Hey, what's up guys? Kudud here, and today I got a really long gameplay for you. This is going to be a domination or a ground war match on Plaza. As you guys know, Plaza is a really competitive match for uh, ground war. Right now we're going to be playing against the full squad, Unknown the Dopest, True Pothead, uh, the Ferocity Kid's obviously a fanboy, the real Ferocity. We got Solid Boy and Silver Twisted in here. He's a real member of MP4U. Uh, this other guy was uh, was an ex-member of uh, Incline Killers or MP4U. I forgot which clan. But I was in a party as well. It was me, uh, Potential, Fusion, and Sotan. Uh, Fusion and Potential didn't really show up. So this is pretty much just me and Sotan doing all the work. So this is going to be called the duo. <laughs> just me and Sotan just going at it. I mean, he's been on my friends list for, uh, I guess you'd say about two or three months now. And we didn't really start playing together till recently because we just go in the lobby solo now. We just fuck shit up. I stopped caring about stats in this game. So it's just pretty much just going solo, just making it happen. Now, we pretty much tossed this team up. So I'm just going to give a little bit of backstory about what happened in, in this lobby, which made this such a hard played game for both of us. Was the guys, when we came into this lobby, they automatically recognized me. I guess they've been fans of, uh, I guess they knew about SYS because when I was back in SYS, we used to play some uh, ground war, and I think I played Unknown the Dopus, and I think I've beaten him before. Now, uh, they were talking shit, this coincident, coin incident, or whatever, bro. You, you spelled your name wrong, I think. But they were just trying to talk shit to us or whatever. I mean, I wasn't really trying to trying to lose my mind over it. But they, they were just trying to make it like a vengeance match, with trying to get back at that defeat I gave them a while back. So I wasn't going to lose sleep over it. And we end up really uh, coming to our toes here. Me and Sotan understood that our team wasn't uh, working to the best of their ability. So we had to put we had to put our pants on and really get to working. So we came into this lobby, automatically started talking shit. And we weren't really trying to really, like, you know, try to talk shit with them. So we just uh, we just let our gameplay talk. And uh, it's just I'm just really happy that we won this game. The odds were pretty much against us the way that it was looking. And I made some really beginning some beginner mistakes in this lobby, which uh, I should have made up for. I don't really play Plaza a whole lot in uh, Ground War. My most played maps pretty much Raid and Yemen. And I believe I play meltdown quite a bit as well so i made some beginner mistakes i do die a lot in this video they do get a lot of vsats on us so you're probably going to hear in the background but they were killing a lot of they were killing the randoms a lot like we had some guys on our team that were just going absolutely negative and they were talking shit the guy who drops the streaks is coincident he killed me a few times but not too much um we came into this lobby as well on their host so uh, if you're seeing like me lagging around a little bit like i know when i was playing this i don't know if it shows it in theater mode sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't i was skipping around quite a bit so we were lagging especially soton soton's from the uk so if i lag he's getting hit even harder by lag so we we just worked through the lag together and we were just pushing at it i wish i could do a listening because i recorded this off at the theater so i could show you what we were talking but the call outs that me and him were just doing i mean uh fusion was trying the best he can so his potential but he just wasn't really working to his best ability so we were doing all the call outs we could and we were just playing to our hardest and sure enough we ended up uh, winning because of that now uh, yesterday i uploaded that live commentary video i had a lot of really good feedback on it um the one thing though that i need to fix is my voice sounded a lot deeper than usual in that video i know i have a pretty deep voice but that sounded crazy deep and i figured out why um when i record games live i have the mic closer my mouth i notice when i play in a pub I, when i play in a match I, I i'm pretty much just chewing on my mic for the most part so i'll make sure that's fixed in the, in the next video i had a lot of fun doing that i'm definitely going to do more this kid pulled out an lmg he started out with fao then he switched to an lmg because he was getting smacked but that's besides the point i'm not really going to talk shit in this video it was a it was a good game by both teams it's just that me and sotan uh put put obviously outplayed them in a way you could say i end up having 20 caps at the end i mean 20 caps so whoa if i had 20 caps it'd be some kind of record i'd like 20 defense so it was a pretty good gameplay on on that side of things now what i just want to continue to talk about in the video is uh some tips i could give to you guys if you're playing with one other guy and how to exceed to your best ability the best way i could tell you to get better playing uh solo in this game is just continue to play solo obviously you're not going to win all of your games if if you're solo but the best way to get better at playing solo is to not get used to having orbital VSATs up. Like that's where a lot of people end up going wrong. Is a lot of people uh, become dependent on their VSATs, and when you become dependent on your VSAT, you're not really a strong player anymore. You're not as strong as player as, as you used to be, and uh, you'll really see like a fault in your gameplay if you become addicted to using VSATs. So uh, the one tip that I just want to give to you guys is if you do play solo, try not running VSAT and uh, you'll definitely see a, a change up in your gameplay. The other tip I could just give to you guys about playing uh, solo or with one other guy is you want to work on your communication. Communication is key. Like, well, once you understand how each other plays on the map, you don't really have to communicate as much, but if 
getting up to that point where you know how your uh, teammate plays, that's when you can s solely figure out how how to approach each map and how to approach each match. So pretty much in this video, me and Sotan understood that we had to hold the bar down the entire match in order to win. So that's what we did. And for a bunch of tryhards, yeah, these guys, they were pretty good for killing randoms. But when it came to down to killing actual people that knew what they were doing, they really didn't know what they were doing all too much. Sure, they got a couple kills on me. Sure, I made a couple beginning mistakes. But you guys got to remember, I'm not really a hard, I'm not really a ground war player. I'm a 6v6 hard point player. I used to play uh, ground war back in the day, but that was a long time ago. But now I'm making my return back into it. And uh, obviously Sotan's going to be sticking with me for a while. He's not going to be on PS4 right away for Advanced Warfare. So you're not going to be seeing me with him uh, very often on PS4 because he's going to have to wait to get his PF PS4. So you're going to see me playing with a lot of different people on PS4. But this is a really strong duo right here, me and him. Uh, we've, we've, this is, we've beaten a lot of tryhard teams, surprisingly, with this duo, especially because of the fact that we just started playing together within the past month. It's pretty funny if you ask me. So... The other tips I could just give to you guys if you are playing solo or you're not playing with a full party is you pretty much want to use a suppressor on your weapon. A suppressor is almost a must. If uh, you're playing against tryhards, in my opinion, I don't really, if I don't run hardline in all the classes I'm running in this video, I don't have hardline. I'm running three attachments on uh, my AN. It's uh, stock, suppressor, ex uh, f stock, suppressor, and I believe quick draw. And pretty much if you just run this class, you'll, you'll, you'll really really put in work you don't really need ghost i was using a flak jacket and tough obviously flak jacket toughness and i don't know if it was tactical mask or if i was using dexterity it was one of those so i was just trying my best obviously attacking certain c4 get them off the flags and the spawn closer to a flag that's the biggest key thing in this uh he was talking shit to me at the end of the game saying that i sucked obviously i dropped uh, 58 or 59 kills in this game but I did die a lot. I had 20 defends, and that the 20 defense should really speak for themselves there. You know, even though he low, even though he load starred us, I don't think he could ever do it again. Especially if uh, my teammates actually did did something within the lobby. I put in work. I know I keep saying that me and Sotom put in work, but that's the only way to explain what happened in this video. Was this is how this is how you play right here? Like if you wanna if you wanna model your gameplay solo after something, I, this is what I could just I could suggest to you. If you're a high stat player, you gotta just throw away your stats. R remind you, there's V stats up this entire time at this point in the video, and I'm still I'm still giving kids the gun game. Like they can't keep up with me at all. Like there's V stats right here. They're just sprinting up to B. Like they're a bunch of idiots. They have no idea how to approach the map at all. They only know how to kill randoms and. Yeah, sure, I die a lot, but the few times that I do die, I'm, I'm always caught on a corner sprinting or I'm always uh, getting pre-fired because of the VSAT or because they had the UAV up. Once it came to uh, a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with the gun game where they didn't get the jump on me and we were just in a we were just in a traditional just gunfight not knowing either one is there, I really excelled. They couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't keep up with me or Sotan on the gun game part of things, and uh, we noticed that within the second round. That's why we ended up changing up our game plan. In the second round, we were playing a lot more conservative in the first round, as you probably could already have told. And uh, once we figured out that these kids literally had no gun skill whatsoever, we played a bit faster. But obviously, when you play a bit faster, you're, you're killed off your tack inserts quite a bit, which is why I got a lot of deaths in the video was because I kept getting tack inserted. I got getting killed off my tack insert, which I'm not going to complain about. By them waiting to kill me off my tack insert, they kind of took them out of the game a little bit, took them off their uh, defense. But that's pretty much just how you play. You you want to capitalize on the other team's mistakes. And like I said before, they had a pretty good setup on defense. They knew how to defend flags. They had a they obviously had a bigger party, and the guys that they did have with them knew a little bit more about ground war than I had with me. Besides me and Sotan, so they really had the advantage in the video. And uh, for them to lose, that's pretty embarrassing. Like I said, I'm not going to anyone's neck. I'm not on this. I'm not on YouTube to insult people. I'm just letting you know that what they did wrong and how to capitalize on what they did wrong. And apparently that kid got turned on. And at the end of this video, I was called bad. So I'm not going to complain. Um, I'm called bad by the guy who load starred us killing randoms but uses an LMG. Now, that's pretty pathetic if you ask me. 61 to 23, you should try to kill somebody actually good to get your streaks. Yeah, you've killed me a few times this game, but you should stop trying. You should stop capitalizing off the randoms and call me bad because you have no gun game. You've Every legitimate gunfight we got in, which where I wasn't weak or you didn't uh, get the drop on me because of a VSAT, you lost your gunfights. Also, I've just taken these guys off of flags. If you're going to use an AN on this map, you got to get right up on the stairs or you got to get in the bar, especially for if you have good, if 
if you got good gun game and your accuracy is really good. This is probably the best accuracy I've had in a long time in a match. So if you've got really good accuracy, just sit on these stairs, especially if you have quick draw. You want to play fast. And at the end, there you go. You got me and Sultan sitting next to each other, the duo themselves, going for uh, our, our game plays. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been cool, dude. Let me show you the scoreboard real quick.